Hello and welcome to Pure Word Creations. My name is Tahira. I have a gifted journal flip through for you today. It is for a recipient who is a fellow string player, a worldwide performer, and I wanted to uh, make a journal that she could travel with. Um, she's wanting to document her album making journey um, as well as her touring journey. And um, the, so the first and third signatures in this journal actually have music manuscript paper that she could, you know, write about her album. She could also um, document some of the songs that she's written. And uh, the middle signature is kind of a fee free for all uh, signature that she could just document her daily life, her touring, whatever she like. So as you can see in the front, this is the head of a snake. <laughs> a snake is one of her spirit animals, so you will see more of those. Not a lot, but you will see more of those. So if you're squeamish about snakes, this may not be the journal flip through for you, but I hope you stick around because there's some cool things in here. Um, this uh, head of a spear or head of an arrow um, charm was gifted to me. And the recipient is on a bulb pin, so the recipient can change it out with whatever uh, charm she'd like. Um, this lace here, I rust dyed and um, uh, adhered that to some other fabric to make the pocket. Uh, here's some gold trim, as well as this cool gray trim um, that makes the top of the pocket. And there's an elastic closure and I'm gonna bring it out <laughs> this is uh, the journaling card that sits inside the front cover of the journal it is this, of this beautiful snake and I actually found a, a book of snakes on um, one of my walks uh, it was inside one of those freestanding library neighborhood library um, stations um, and there it was, ready to put, be put on, <laughs> ready for one of the pages to be put on this journaling card. Here's some of my, of my rust dyed paper. I'm going to get my words together, y'all. Uh, <laughs> and here's some paper by Capital Chic Designs. Alrighty. Oh, and I've just topped it with some fibers here. Some of them um, I got at Creative Reuse Shop. This was gifted to me by Miss Mason, this gold trim all right so on the spine is this really cool fabric that came as a uh, was gifted to me but it was gifted to me as a headband um, by Cameron at Lotus and Nightshade and um, I just took it apart and it became this lovely fabric that you see on the spine the uh, back is a textile that I was gifted as well beautiful beautiful and the recipient is very colorful <laughs> loves images and um, culture from Africa she's often um, inspired by uh, African instrumentalists so I wanted to represent that in this journal the inside uh, covers are wallpaper first signature starts with this paper that I was um, that I found at a creative view shop it has this image of a warrior princess from happy lemon digitals and you'll see more of those I just distressed it with some distress ink and you'll see a lot of my rust dyed paper in here some avocado dyed paper from uh, Renee Renee's at it again and here's the music manuscript paper that she requested. Let's see here. And there's some side pockets. Here's a postcard. In one of her music videos, she there's a zebra. <laughs> so uh, here's a zebra playing card. Uh, here's a digital from Style 24 Designs. More of my rust dyed paper there. Here is the title page of an old book that I was gifted. It's entitled Little Journeys to the Homes of Great Musicians. 
and the paper is uh, beautifully aged. Blank on the back. On this side pocket is a notepad paper from Thoroughly Created. I'll put everyone's information in the description box. Here's um, an illustrated coloring book page from the Decomposed uh, Music and Color coloring book. Decompose is my uh, music ensemble in Chicago. Uh, here's some, another postcard. This is from Pip, Skit, Pip Sticks. <laughs> oh boy. Words. Alright. Uh, this is a an office stamp that I got at a creative reuse shop in Florida. It says original. And this was also gifted to me. This animal card on a boa constrictor. And that's tucked into this tuck made by made with paper by uh, that was eco dyed by Rosemary Morris. Here's the middle signature starting with some scrapbook paper by Capital Chic Designs. This is also Capital Chic Designs paper. And this is an art postcard by Denisio Truitt. Nepalese Lock the Paper from Paper Connection. Another one of Happy Lemon Digital's digital. The uh, recipient often dresses as a warrior princess in her performances, so that's fitting. Here's another one of those papers from that age book. Um, I sewed a ticket on the side here. Uh, this is actually digital paper from, uh, it's a free digital from Dragona at Sasebo. You can see the other side of it here. Some extra paper clips. Here's a spirit animal card on snake. It's this woman with a snake skin and an actual rattle in her hand and a digital from Giggle Glitter Graphics, one of her mandala digitals. Here is a snake stamp from Stamperia. And another one of my rust dyed papers. I was gifted a book of black photographer's work and this is one of the images a show woman in a dressing room. Uh, this is a notepad paper from Rose Colored Earth Co. I was gifted this dyed paper. Not sure if it's like turmeric dyed or tea dyed, but it feels really nice. Here's some tracing paper that I rust dyed and stamped. Some more of, um, or some of Renee's coffee dyed paper, my rust dyed paper. And this tuck spot is an art postcard from GDB. And that's on this dyed glassine from. Magdalena at Fat Pickle Studio. On the other side is this gifted first day of issue envelope with stamp from 1993. So cool. And then I've just put a journaling card inside. And the coloring book page 
is from Artist Region. Here's another digital from Dragona at Sasebo. Here is a Project Life card. It actually has Warrior on the top there. There's the back. Here is a page from an old music textbook that Renee um, gifted me. It's on African uh, musicians, instrumentalists. And maybe I said this before, but the uh, recipient gains a lot of her inspiration from African music. Here is a beautiful artwork postcard from Paul Lewin. I love this one. Here's an empty bag. Sorry for jostling the camera. Here are the back sides of those papers. Um, Flashcard. Here is um, digitals from Kelly Malaika on some of Renee's avocado dye paper and it's really cool inside because it's, it's very grungy and it's very tactile and feels really good. A stamp. Inside this pocket is natural fiber paper from one of my old notebooks. Here's the other side of that photograph book page. Here's one of my paper clusters and fabric on top. Inside are some word and phrase stickers in this glassine bag. Uh, this was, let's see, sorry about the lighting, it's kind of dark today. It says say yes. And this is a art card from Antonia Rupert. It says saying yes is always the more humorous and or interesting choice. And her artwork is entitled The Mic is Yours. And on the back is a journaling prompt. Here's another one of my office stamps. Happy Lemon G Digitals image. fabric flip up, some more of that aged paper from that book, rust and eco dyed paper. Um, the recipient actually has a jellyfish tattoo on her arm, so I wanted to make sure put a jellyfish in here. And here's one of my collage journaling cards. There's like these little plant fibers, um, cheesecloth, Lin Chianing digitals on this Capital Chic Designs paper, um, some little small buttons, and this really cool image from a magazine. And here's the back graph paper. And it says, stay curious. All right, here's some stamping. Here's a book page with a quote from Miles Davis from his autobiography. It says, I'm always thinking about creating. My future starts when I wake up every morning. Every day, I find something creative to do with my life. 
My future starts when I wake up every morning. Ugh, that's so powerful. And the third signature. This is a gifted playing card from Renee. Teresa at Aceret Studio gifted me this library catalog card. Hale Smith is a black composer as well as Adolphus Hale Stork. Here is a violin string packet and I just filled it with some small journaling cards and um, some graph paper. There's another journaling card in there. And that's just uh, attached with some washi tape. Here's another uh, image coloring sheet from the decomposed music and color coloring book. This is a Victor Wooten bassist. And the recipient travels with um, an electric bassist who also does electronics for her performances. I really love this, uh, how this rust and eco dyed stenciled page came out. Here's some stationery with music theme from Daiso. Again, this is the third signature that has the music manuscript paper. Let's see if I can actually get that back in. Yes. More of my rust dyed. And I made sure to neutralize, you know, the rust dyed papers with some baking soda and water solution. Um, so here is another illustrated coloring book page. And the cool thing about this is that there is a violinist there and there are jellyfish along with other sea animals. That definitely had to go inside here. <laughs> and I'll put the artist's um, names in the description box. Here is a artwork postcard by Josephine Destiny. And the recipient is a twin. So I thought she'd get a kick out of that. Let's see. Yes, there are... information on the back but I'll also leave it on the dis in the description box another warrior princess image from happy lemon digitals and another snake card inside a tuck with paper um, from Rosemary Morris is the anaconda. There's my logo sticker in the very back with small wallpaper. It's really cool this wallpaper the way that it um, adhered to the page it feels like it looks like it's beaten metal. It's cool. And here's the back again. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Of course, she's getting other goodies. <laughs> uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.